Hey everybody, Rick Needham on Saturday, November 1st, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle Major Track Report. Let's go to the Big A Aqueduct first, folks. Race 3 this afternoon, 1.56 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This six furlong sprint on the dirt, three year olds and up, racing for a claiming purse of twenty thousand dollars. Contenders number one, Big Love Hill, excuse me, Big Love Bill, number two, Phobia, number seven, Ectoplasm, and number four, Maps Hope. Number one, Big Love Bill takes an eleven unit computerized class drop, is the speed leader in this claiming field, sprinting at six furlongs on the dirt, and has produced a trio of power runs in his last four starts, winning in his fourth race back. Jockey Rajiv Mara and trainer Bruce Levine sent him to the post today. They fit the board with 57% of more than 150 entries saddled as a team to date. Number two, Phobia, qualifies as a Trackmaster Plus Power Pony, comes off a power run show finish in his last start. Race three, summary, number one, Big Love Bill, tops the contenders list, which also includes number two, Phobia, number seven, Ectoplasm, and number four, Maps Hope, one, two, seven, four, and the third today from Aqueduct. Let's go to Churchill Downs in Kentucky next, race 10. Their feature, 5.02 p.m. Eastern Post of the Iroquois Stakes. It's a mile test on the dirt, grade 3, two-year-olds racing for $100,000. Defenders number 3, Brave Victory. Number 2, Captain Candyman Can. Number 6, Monty's Best. And number 7, Just Like Biscuit. Number three, Brave Victory, has hit the board in three of his four career starts to date, including a power run win to break his maiden in his second race back. Number two, Captain Candy Man Can is the speed leader in the stakes field, racing at the mile distance on the dirt, has produced power runs in both of his two career starts to date, including a maiden breaking power run win in his first asking. Race uh, number ten, summary, number three, Brave Victory tops the contenders list which also includes number two, Captain Candyman Can, number six, Monty's Best, and number seven, Just Like Biscuit. That's three, two, six, seven in the tenth today from Churchill Downs, the $100,000 grade three Iroquois Stakes. Out west to Hollywood Park next, race three, one thirty-two p.m. Pacific Post for the Sharp Cat Stakes. Eight and a half furlongs on the cushion track, two-year-old fillies race for a $100,000 stakes purse. Contenders number two, ten churros, number five, Oro Blanco, number one, Toro Bonito, and number three, Pomona Ball. Number two, ten churros, shares the speed honors in the stakes field with number one, Toro Bonito, is the pace profile leader in the field, racing at her about eight and a half furlongs on the dirt, has hit the board in power run fashion in three of her last four, including power run wins in both her second and fourth races back. That's a bounce pattern, folks, and the bounce will be up positive today this pattern continues. Number five, Oro Blanco, also has a nice pace profile, drops in class, comes off a power run show finish, facing better company in her last start. Race three summary, number two, ten churros, tops my contenders list, which also includes number five, Oro Blanco, number one, Toro Bonito, and number three, Pomona Ball. That's 2513 in the third from Hollywood Park, the $100,000 Sharp Cat Stakes. Couple bonus long shots for you as usual, folks. Let's go to Finger Lakes first. Race two, six to one shot. Number three, Lunch Club. Better overall speed than the favorite. Number two, Jumping the Fence. And the race at Philadelphia Park and Ben Salem, PA, this afternoon as well. Race four, the speed honors in this starter allowance field are shared by a pair of five to one shots. Number five, Rule of Motion. And number eight, Pat's Dilemma. So handicapping from Belmont, Churchill Downs, and Hollywood Park. Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle Major Track Report, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over.